Back in 1992, I was stationed in Virginia uh, at a place called, well, I was actually stationed in Norfolk, but we were living at a place called the Northwest Naval Security Group, which is out in the middle of the Dismal Swamp in Chesapeake, Virginia. The reason that's relevant to today's video, <clears throat> that was where my second daughter was born, Bree. Um, she's my middle child, and her parents came up from down here in South Texas to see the new grandchild. They brought their RV and they stayed out at a park that was on the grounds out there and we spent the days out with them for a couple of days. During that visit it was pretty warm. We were just sitting around out in an RV park and uh, out of boredom I picked up a stick and I started carving on it and then for whatever reason it didn't feel right so I uh, looked around I grabbed another stick I carved on it for a while, and then the next day I kept carving on it, the next day I kept carving on it. Now, keep in mind, this is 1992. So what is that, 22 years ago? Um, to this day, I still use that stick. Uh, it's this one right here. And you saw it on part of the video from the trip to Choke Canyon with Ken Graham. I said that I was going to be in another video, and I'm getting around to doing that video now. There's nothing special about this stick. Uh, there's nothing that sets it apart from any other one. It just felt right in my hand. Unlike the first one, this one felt right. I do not know. I can't even figure out how to guess how many miles I put out in the br in the brush and woods and fields and even walking around the city uh, at night with my wife doing exercise and stuff. I can't even guess how many miles I've put on this stick. I can tell you for a fact that it's about three to four inches shorter than it was when I first carved it and that is just strictly from wear and tear of the, the bottom end being on the ground. Now the reason that the story I just told you is relevant to this video I want you all to understand, it may seem kind of sentimental or kind of sappy, um, but I've been using this stick for over 20 years now. I have an extreme comfort level with it. Um, I know every little bump and knob on it. Uh, I actually had to add a leather handle to it because I was wearing away the wood on top as it twisted in my hand. It's just a crooked piece of ash. Um, it served its time as part of the tree, then it fell to the ground. Who knows how long it laid there, then I found it, carved it, cleaned it up, and I've been using it for another 22 years. I've gotten to the point in my life now where I depend on the stick, on a walking stick, when my knees start to bother me. Which means I'm putting more weight on it, uh, putting more stress on it. You can imagine that after 22 years, this thin piece of ash is starting to show some wear, it's starting to show some cracks. Uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to break it. I have recently uh, purchased some professional grade walking sticks, the adjustable things with the springs and shock absorbers and that in it. Uh, I will be going to those. I'm working on a project of making a new walking staff, uh, but we'll have to see how that works out over time. Uh, as of today, this one gets retired. It will be hanging on a wall in my house, probably behind my table where I do the videos in this house. Let's talk about the significance of a stick. The stick really doesn't matter. What matters is, is that the, the thing that most people get out of bushcrafting, or at least me, are only a couple of things. One is the skills. One is the fun that you have doing it. And the third thing is the memories. Um, Everybody that's a bushcrafter, a hiker, a camper, uh, any outdoors activities, hunters, they can recall almost every detail of certain incidents, certain things that happened while they were out, people they went camping with, people they went hunting with, uh, locations they went to, the view when they walked over the top of a crest. That all comes down to memories. And the key to this all is, is bushcrafting is to be fun. If it's not fun, get another hobby. Um, or figure out what you're doing that's making it not be fun. I live for it. I love to be outdoors. I love to be doing stuff like that. I cannot stand to be in an office. 
Um, so the stick really doesn't represent anything more than a piece of wood to me, uh, except for the fact it's 22 years of memories. Uh, 22 years of hiking, 22 years of camping, 22 years of bushcrafting, 22 years of being out with my family doing stuff. It's a very comfortable item for me. Every little piece of it, I know it. I can grab it in the middle of the night and know exactly where I've grabbed a hold of it at. I've become so accustomed to it that when I don't have it, I keep checking my wrist trying to figure out where the strap went. Uh, when I go walking, it's hanging there. So it's, it's going to be a big change for me to get rid of it. And like I said, the only reason I'm getting rid of it is it's going to break. I'm putting stress on it now. When I was younger, it was more of a, a stabilizing item. If I was walking across a creek or stepping over logs or something like that, I'd put it down just for a balance thing. It's getting to the point now, though, where I'm starting to put weight onto it when I'm walking, especially when my knees are bothering me. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're dealing with your bushcrafting stuff, and try to remember if you are keeping an item because you love that item and it works perfectly, or are you keeping it out of comfort? I don't think it makes a difference. If the item makes you happy, then you use the item. There are a million other walking steps and sticks out there that are better than mine. This one's mine. Uh, I found it, I made it, I've taken care of it, and I've used it for over 20 years. It's time for it to be retired, and I'm just going to go to a, a much more stable platform for me for physical reasons. Always remember, it doesn't matter if you have the latest, greatest thing out there or something you picked up off the side of a trail. Uh, the most important thing is, is that you're out here. This is the key to all bushcrafting, to all camping, to, to everything. This is just a Sunday afternoon. I could not be in the house anymore. I had to get out. So I just found the nearest park. You can hear the traffic on the road back a ways away from here. Uh, I don't hear it when I'm out here unless I'm making a video because then I'm conscious of it. Just get out in nature, folks. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.